We have a constant demand from our institutional client to get access to educational about uh, market, trend and uh, asset management industry. So we decided to do it last year, it was a great success. We decided to do it now on a yearly basis and this year it's even a bigger success. We have more than 80 investors coming from all Europe. Uh, it's insurance company, pension fund, family office, wealth manager, banks, foundation. And the beauty for them is to get access to a very high level of guest speaker. So the main benefit of investing in EM sovereign debt is the relatively high coupon and attractive carry that you get by investing in the asset class. Uh, it basically overcompensates you for the risks that you're taking, uh, which are probably overestimated by a lot of market participants. And that's in part due to the fact that uh, defaults are more rare and recovery rates are higher uh, than what I think most people expect. So investors should definitely look at investing into ILS in 2019 because we are really observing across the board a certain degree of repricing. So it can be cat bonds, can be some OTC transactions. So it's definitely a good entry point. Uh, there, is, uh, there is a market hardening happening again for the asset class. So Japanese smaller companies change the world in the sense that it's where research and development has the largest impact. Those research and development will then cascade into larger companies, but the starting point is really within smaller companies. It's also a huge pool of companies to pick from, and we see a lot of determinism helping those of them will, which will become the winners to be very successful. We see that in many areas, in tech, in healthcare, but most importantly today in consumption-related sectors. Impact investing really represents the future and it does so for a couple of reasons. Firstly, the natural hunting ground for companies in impact investment, regardless of asset class, is to look for businesses which through their revenue streams, through their products and services, are challenging, fixing problems, the most acute problems we face as a society. Also. Impact investing, probably because of those things, uh, appeals very much to the millennial generation and, and this cohort is um, set to inherit a huge amount of wealth over the next few years and to the extent that in 40 years time there is a 40 trillion dollar transfer of wealth uh, to millennials and Generation Z, all of whom express a distinct interest in matching their financial and their non-financial goals. I think the main takeaway besides the, the, the presentations and the, and the content of it is that you, we can, uh, I can meet different people from uh, other countries or other parties so to exchange ideas, that, that's, that's also interesting. I appreciate uh, a lot uh, to have the opportunity to know what's uh, trends and what's the uh, ideas in the market that uh, UBP uh, asset manager has now in the moment because uh, they transmit different assets and different strengths that we have to consider it to, to manage in, in our portfolios. Mm -hmm.